Congressman Ryan, is there any tax role for reducing our 1.4 to 1.7 trillion dollar debt this year, deficit this year? Is there any role in tax increasing to help do that job? I don't think it's a good idea, especially when we're trying to come out of a, a jobless recovery and a slow growth economy. Look, we got employment almost 10 percent. The last thing we should be doing is raising taxes on the economy. Look, Chris, the worst thing for deficit reduction is a slow economy. You hit small businesses with these kinds of tax rate increases, and you'll slow down the economy further. Look, 75 percent of those who will get hit with these higher tax rates are successful small businesses. Tens of millions of our jobs come from these small businesses. Now, if you try to blame these tax cuts and the wars for all of our fiscal problems, the numbers just don't add up. At best, 14 percent of the evaporation of the surplus came from these tax cuts. It all came from other circumstances, spending, economic growth declining, 9-11, all these other things. So I think what Joe earlier said is right, which is these taxes will go up, and I think that's a mistake, and I think it's going to hurt the economy. This year, this year Congress isn't even doing a budget, but last year when we did a budget, I brought a budget to the floor that specifically cut $4.8 trillion of spending out of the budget and paid for all of these tax cuts and debt reduction. Two months ago, we put out $1.3 trillion in very specifically listed and enumerated spending cuts. So I can go with you on cuts. I can show you all the kinds but of cuts. But and that's one three hundredth of the deficit. That's 0.3 of 1% you've talked about. $4.8 trillion have... is not 0.3 of 1% okay, of 4. the deficit. Okay, 4.8 trillion. Okay. And, and 1.3 trillion okay. is not peanuts. It's nothing to well, sneeze at. Okay, let, let me Chris, go. Go to AmericanRoadmap.org and you will see a very comprehensive piece of legislation that the CBO has scored as actually paying off the debt with okay. very specific reforms to the entitlements you mentioned. I would rescind the unspent stimulus funds. I would rescind all the TARP funds that aren't spending. I would do a federal hiring freeze and pay freeze for the rest of the year. And I would go back and cut discretionary spending back to 08 levels and freeze that spending going forward. Now, you and I can get a debate about Keynesian economics, whether it worked or didn't. I don't think it did. We increased domestic discretionary last year by 84%. I don't think we should continue to build that kind of a base. Let's go back and cut discretionary spending back to 08 levels, okay. rescind stimulus, rescind TARP, and do a federal hiring and pay freeze. Those are just a few ideas that add up to $1.3 trillion right there.